All right, welcome back to another coin video. What I have here are a couple of rolls of, um, well, one roll is a 2024 American Silver Eagle. And this one is the Mint Certified Tube, which came at a little bit more of a premium than, I guess, the regular tube. Um, so I'll take a look at those. And then I have a roll of Morgan Dollars, advertised as a hand-selected, brilliant, uncirculated, all pre-1921. So I will be right back, and we will take a look at those Morgan Dollars first. All right, so I actually went ahead and I did this. And I know some people commented. <laughs> um, I was not inspired by the comments or influenced either way. I thought maybe it'd be a good idea in handling these. So let's see what they sent me. These are Morgan Dollars. Now, I picked these up, I picked these up because my father, I remember, had a whole bunch of these. Um, and pretty sure, since none of them came with his collection, that... This is part of what he sold off back when he timed the market pretty well and unloaded a lot of his silver when it was touching like $40 an ounce or so. But they sent me here, looks like 1881. And if you look at the sides, I mean, there are some, some just color, color variances here. And I have a uh, 1880, I can't even read that, 1883. Um, 1883, 1886, this one, and there's some, I say toning or tarnish, uh, it's all semantics, um, in my opinion, but, um, and so you're, to expect some sort of, you know, being as old as these coins are, even though they weren't circulated, they're still going to have some toning to them because due to age and whatnot. And also, maybe some bag marks or something. But otherwise, you know, really, really nice shape. This one is what, 1883? And we have 1885. Eighteen eighty-six. This one has a lot of this is eighteen eighty-two. It's a nice one. And they got eighteen eighty-one. Then I have eighteen eighty-one also. And these here. We got 1881, 1881, 1881, 81, 82. Yeah, definitely brings back memories. I don't know. I feel like this is what, 1883. I just remember, you know, Years ago, like we're talking like 45 years ago or maybe a little less, you know, he had so many coin tubes, so many. And definitely he had a lot of these, maybe some of those peace dollars. I mean, I don't know what he ended up selling off. This is 1881. eighteen eighty one, And then... 1881. So these are the Morgans, and I'm not going to keep them in these in these tubes. So let me just kind of separate these so they don't fall over. All right. So let me uh, let me crack open that uh, that mint certified tube of uh, Silver Eagles. Let's see what those look like. All right. So let's see what mint state certified. I'm not going to take them all out. I take out uh, maybe a couple. I'll take out one. So, so what's the deal with this? Is this is this something that people are buying because they they want to submit it uh, to be graded? Um, honestly, unlike sports cards and even comic books, I have no interest in in getting any additional graded coins um, beyond what I already have that. 
were given to me. I just, I don't know, I, coins, I like to, I think they're better when they're in this sort of state. Um, so there's one. I mean, these are all, I'm not going to take them all out. I'll take out a second one, see if it's consistent. So, yeah, so is, is Mint certified, is it a marketing gimmick or is there something to that that justifies the, uh, the added cost? Um, part of my goal is to also get a, a mint roll of uh, essentially the other sovereign coins, the, the Canadian Maple Leafs, um, the, the Britannias, the Philharmonics. Um, leave me somebody out. Um, Britannia, Philharmonic, Maple Leaf. I guess maybe that's those are the four big ones, and the Eagles, of course, which I already have. So, all right, so I'm going to put these back here for now, but they aren't going to stay in here. And I am going to show you in a minute how I'm going to keep these uh, stored in my collection. So I will be right back with that. All right, so here's what I did. I kind of love these airtight coin holders because now I can handle these things without fear of smudging them up with my fingers and whatnot. Um, so this, I think, is a good way to... To store these things, I actually have, I found also, there's like tubes designed to now hold these with this particular diameter. Um, these aren't obviously going to fit back in here, so. But, I don't know, I kind of feel like Scrooge McDuck sitting here with a stack of coins like this. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, this is, um, again, a question for the, uh, I guess, the coin people. You know, did I get, did I get suckered in? to the mint certified roll versus the regular roll. Is there a big difference? Um, like I said, it was about a hundred dollars more. And man, this stuff is volatile as hell because you know, when I bought the the, the coin starter set, like it was, whatever that was, then like silver went down like $40 or something, or that, that went down $40 from its uh, original price. And now it's more than what I paid for it because I was checking it because silver has gone up again. So crazy um but this is the latest and i don't know what do you like you like the eagle or the morgan better i kind of like the morgan although i know it's i guess not as much silver as the eagle but these look uh i just maybe i like these better Are they a little smaller maybe um anyhow all right uh, that's it for now. Actually, more to come. I have another um, <laughs> I have another video waiting to roll. So probably sometime during the course of next week, I'll uh, I'll throw that one up here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you later.